I have like I have the kind of mom who like steals breadsticks from a restaurant. Okay. <laughs> I found this out about her when I was about six. She took my sisters and I out to dinner. It was like a kind of like medium fancy Italian restaurant. And they had these like little hard breadsticks wrapped in paper on the table. At the end of the meal, she like dumped the whole basket in her purse. I was like, cool. <laughs> a rule breaker. Uh, so the next day, we were at the grocery store, and I was like, hey, mom, can I have one of those breadsticks? And she was like, oh, sorry, I ate them all last night. I was like, oh, that's cool, whatever. Um, but then when she went to pay for her groceries, I like saw them in her bag. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> that's weird. Maybe, uh, maybe she fucked up, who knows. So like later that day, I was like, hey, mom, can I uh, get one of those breadsticks? And she was like, nope, sorry, I still don't have any. That night, I like went to her purse and I looked at them and they were in there. And I was like, what the fuck? I, <laughs> I also, I would like to point out, I feel like there are two kinds of people, like people who had good snacks at their house growing up and people who didn't. <laughs> I'll let you guess which kind of person I am. <laughs> uh, so like this started, like this like became a thing. Like every day I would be like, hey ma, can I uh, get a breadstick? And she'd be like, Nope, still don't have those same breadsticks. And then I would go in her purse at some point in the day and I would like see them in there. They were still in there. And I was like a wreck. Like, <laughs> I was like six-ish. And like up until this point, I thought my mom and I had this understanding where she shared food with me. <laughs> and that's it. Like I just, uh, I was like, really obsessed with it. I would just sit in my room and like stew at night and be like, mom, if that even is your name, like fucking secret breadsticks. <laughs> even as a young child, I was like broody and dramatic and wouldn't just, anyways. Um, but <laughs> this had been building for a while, right? I was like slowly like learning to resent my mom, I think. Um, <laughs> and then like one day it, it all came to a head. We were at the bank, which as you know, makes children melt down. Um, also adults. Uh, and like this time, like I actually was really hungry and also just like pretty fucking fed up with my mom and her like secret stash <laughs> of breadsticks. I... <laughs> So we were like standing in line and I was like hungry and I was just like looking at my mom, like you fucking mom. <laughs> and I was like, hey mom, can I get a breadstick? I often wonder like if at this point she was like, how do I talk to my daughter about breadsticks? Like what is going on? But uh, so I was like, can I please have a breadstick? And she was like, still don't have any. I'll get like, it's whatever, calm down. And I was like, okay, you know what? Like. I didn't want to have to like expose her in front of all these strangers, but I had had enough, you know? I was just like, mom, I know you have breadsticks. I know they're in your purse. I look, I see them every night. I see them in there, give me one. And she was like, okay. Um, and she like bent down and she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, I, I see them in there. I go in there at night and I, and I look at them. <laughs> So she's like, okay. So she bends over in front of all these people and she's like, I'm gonna open up my purse and I want you to show me what you think is breadsticks. <laughs> so I was like, finally, like, fuck. So I reached into her bag and I was like, there they are, like here, here. And she was like, oh honey, that's a tampon. <laughs> to which I just wailed, what's a tampon? And she was like, I'll tell you later, but um, she never did, because when I was 14, I tried to wear a pad into the pool. And, but that is a different story. Um, thank you guys, I'm Lorianne.